Three Generations, Genders and Cultures, created from real conversations with the community, the whole heart it explores what we do in the pursuit of love and how love can change us. To tell us more about the show, please welcome to the cafe two of its stars, Bree Peters and Scotty Collar. With Captain and Tennille at the beginning there. I bet you weren't expecting that. No, not expecting any of this. Um, really nice to have you here. So basically, the show breathes this right. It's about the the power of love, essentially. Um, I think yes, it is. It's it's about not just the pursuit of say love for people, but also like looking at your heart and how is your heart in the world and like things you love to do. Who do you want to be? Um, uh, putting your hand up and saying yes to things. It's not. It's about love in the big sense, but also just about the big question of how are you in the world today, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. See, the thing is, I recognise both of you with other names. I've got a Pania and I think a Wudamu. Yes! So I've been watching a, a serial for 25 odd years now, oh, but yes. I'm curious to know, in this, who do you guys play? We play different versions of ourselves and we also have different characters. Um, in one bit, I do my own version of Captain America, which is really good <laughs> <laughs> and Brie plays another character called Harry who is a person that we interviewed in the devising process who is a 12 year old boy um, and verbatim we say what he has answered to the questions that Brie asked well so it's 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 from actual conversations with the community so they're real love stories yeah. or they're real stories they're personal stories they're our own personal stories there's their stories uh, from the community for people we inter did interviews we asked family members I interviewed a lot of my my mum's a teacher and I interviewed a lot of her kids and also uh, we were set provocations when we were devising the work uh, things like uh, just says a story of unrequited love or um, a story of um, new beginnings or and we sort of would put together stories and make up a piece from that and it's sort of so when we are we do play ourselves but it's heightened versions so of you might that. have a couple of unrequited loves that you sort of sandwiched in together yeah, and yeah. Them. exactly okay, good to know there must be an incredible sense of satisfaction taking something like this to the stage that you have devised as opposed to just picking up a script that that someone else has written would that be fair yeah, I think it holds more weight when you get to perform your own words and stuff and I think with uh, performing your own words to an audience it just becomes that more special because you see them react to what you're trying to put out there. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing of give and take with um, live theatre. Mm. What about the idea of how love can actually change us? I mean have you got some examples of that? Uh. can ruin you. <laughs> 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 it's, yeah, it's, Love's a hard thing because also we're trying to show the rocky roads that you go through yeah. it too of um, how you know love can be attained but you've got to go through but dips and valleys and to get there. Sometimes it can be extraordinary. Oh, breaking. heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the show. We try to have the show not about like flying. This is what it. Oh, look at that. Well, you look good, babe. Thanks, <laughs> babe. <laughs> um, not just about like. This is what it's like when you get love, yay. It's about the pursuit of being what it is to be wholehearted. So even if I'm trying, even if I'm putting my heart out there, even that is being wholehearted. I might get rejected, it might fail, I might not get the big dream I want, whatever it is. But in that pursuit, it's like, that's a beautiful life, you know? Yeah. I know it spans across cultures and, and generations, but is there a theme that, that has continually come up for you guys in this process? Love. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Funny that. <laughs> Love and being vulnerable. Like one yeah. of the big key stepping stones for the show was um, Brene Brown's TED talk about the power of vulnerability. So I think that led to the pursuit of love and uh, showing your hearts and stuff. But it is trying to be vulnerable and showing up and, you know, living your life as best as you want to mm. be. And I think hope. Like, that we're, it's a bit of a funny time in the world at the moment. And I think there's a, one thing we did talk about in the devising process is what do we want to leave people with what do we want to say mm. you know that there is that you know to be hopeful ever hopeful you know even in those even in the troughs of they say peaks and troughs whatever mm. um yeah be to be hopeful so how's it actually put together uh, is it all just monologues or do the do the characters interact together how does it actually work on stage that's a very good question mm. scotty <laughs> as co-director um there's a lot of linking there's a lot of direct uh, talking to the audience, there's characters, there's big ensembles, there's dance numbers. It's an extravaganza. It's wow. a physical <laughs> theatre company, so it's all a, a lot of we're using our bodies the entire time. So once from woe to go, like we are, it's all on. Um, so it, sometimes it's direct dress, sometimes it's scenes, mm. sometimes it's um, yeah, big massive sort of dancing numbers. It's a big mix. Wow, sounds fascinating. Yeah. 
And where are you headed? Because you're on tour right now, right? Yes. yes. We just got back from Whangarei, now we've got our Auckland season, then we go Hamilton, Wellington, Hawke's Bay, Wairoa, Christchurch, Dunedin. That's oh, it. We're finishing Dunedin. Yeah. I love oh, nice. Dunedin. Wow. So you're, you're taking it on the road, which is really nice. Yeah. All good exciting. Um, so what other projects have you two got on the go at the moment after this? Ooh, whatever comes up. <laughs> gonna sleep. Um, Have a good rest. It's been a long run. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you deserve a good nap. Yeah. 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 Would we sound and look tired? Like, it's like we're, really, we're in the middle of the tour. It's like, oh. It sounds mentally and also physically quite exhausting. So best of luck. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks for coming in today. Too. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Massive Companies The Wholehearted is currently on tour. And as we mentioned, be in Wellington this Wednesday before heading down country for details. You can go to massivecompany.co.nz.